Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So we have jumped back to Bede, or Bide, or whatever you want to call this place. Let's have a look on the star map. It's only eight days away from where we were. We determined there was only a few planets right here in St. Ives Compact that we can actually get some good rep on it. It was really these two here. Uh, it's kind of good. They're both jungle planets, so it uh, really helps out um, with our heat problems and stuff uh, when we're doing fighting. So that's kind of good. Um, so we jump back there, and I want you to show you one thing here. So um, I've gone ahead in the settings here, uh, and I changed the settings, and then I reloaded. Sorry, difficulty. Um, enemy force strength. We cranked it up one from mercenary to pirate, just to give us a bit more strength. And I, I expanded the, the contract difficulties to five, uh, and I can't remember who was that brought up the point. Uh, it's a very, very good valid point, is that we don't have enough rep right now. So if we go to contracts, we don't really have enough rep of the St. Ives uh, uh, Compact to be able to get higher skull missions with them. So having it, having that um, contract variance at five skulls means that uh, we're going to be very limiting on what we can get from them. So I increased it so that we can actually pick up some lower skull missions. And, you know, they were right. It's just kind of going with less mechs and or lighter mechs or whatever and and taking those missions. And I see three good ones here that we can do today. We've got Heavy Lure um, against the Capella Confederation. And then we've got Breakthrough on the Brink and Defend Base. And we've also got Eviction, which, you know, one and a half skulls. I think Breakthrough on the Brink and Eviction will both go for full um, reputation on these. We're not going to worry about picking up anything. We, although I might leave a little bit uh, of salvage here for this one. Uh, but for the most part, it's going to be going for reputation so we can get that up and get some higher higher uh, level missions for our St. Ives Compact. So yeah, that's how we're going to do it today. Uh, I'm going to take Heavy Lure first, though. Um, let's negotiate this out. And I think we're going to go... we got lots of sea bills, so let's go maximum salvage, see what we can get out of this. And we're not just going to go with two mechs this time. We are going to bring our full main lance. So let's get Six Pack and Rhino. And I want to... I think I'm going to take this as the standard lance. I should have changed out those those heavy um, medium heavy lasers, but I didn't. So we're going to take the standard lance this time, uh, just to see how we do against the five skull mission. Now that we've increased it to uh, pirate, just to see how we can do. Oh yeah, the other thing too is um, yeah. So the BFG 9000, uh, the um, railgun. I managed to pick up one ton of ammo for this. He uses Goss, Heavy Goss, or Railgun ammo, right? We can just use regular Goss, but I did manage to pick up some Railgun ammo. One ton, four shots, not bad. So we can refit this guy a little bit. Um, I like the fact that it's got two regular Goss rifles, because we can just, you know, use regular Goss ammo on this when we're not using Railgun ammo. And I'm not, I can't remember if we have any Heavy Goss. We might. I think we do actually have a couple tons of Heavy Goss, but I think I was heavy, saving that for our Heavy Goss rifle. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that's, yeah, so that we can do that today. And I also picked up uh, some Rack 20 ammo. Uh, they had a, a one ton of Rack 20 safe ammo, a couple of extra Rack 5 and a Rack 2 ammo, just if we ever get around to using them. Uh, so yeah, uh, still on the lookout for good ammo. Okay, let's deploy this and get it done. All right, here we go. What sort of trap is this? We always ready for action. Uh, okay. Well, we know this map. Commander. Um, I want you to be over here. So please, peel out and get over there. Okay, I'm hearing that vehicle up on the right-hand side here. I had to think about that for a second. Yep, another one over here. Okay. I've got eyes on hostile LRM radio. carrier. They're heading your way. Jester. Recon mech. Is that ninety five ton? Elite recon. Wow. Uh, okay. Standing by. Kind of laughable, but sure. Bring it on. Roger. All speed. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. 
Looks like they're all over here. Black Knight, LRM Carrier, Heavy TBM Carrier. What can we hit this guy with? I think that's our primary target. Thank you. Certainly does not feel like Mercenary 5 Skull. Pretty baby! Hey! That's the um, awesome variant, I believe, is it not? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, we don't really have range on anything here, do we? We do have on that. Not a very good range. Let's just pot shot it. Why not? Ooh, nice. Solid connection on that one. Sure as hell was. I don't think those guys can see us. They're on a preset course, I think. Uh, I'm going to take this low and slow. We're just going to kill this guy. Enemy unit destroyed. What's up, boss? Okay, run a court. Get up there. If they can see you. They will be distracted. Okay, first things first. Now this Jester has not moved yet. What's our chance to hit on this guy? It's actually pretty damn good. So we're going to Warlord this, confirm it. What's the damage we're doing? 61. It's enough to take his head. It's enough to take the head. It's enough to take the head if we hit with the PPCs. It is not, apparently. Because... Oh. I, I don't know if that was a headshot or not, but whatever. Uh, I'll take it. The damage changed there. Did you see that? When I went to click on him again, the damage seemed to have changed. So, uh, Let's grind up this Black Knight. He's in optimal range now. Let's Warlord this. Uh, yeah, let's wind it up. And hammer him. Affirm. Somebody's not having a good day. I really hope the uh, base defense mission is a little diff more difficult than this. Let's try for glory! Eh. Can't always have glory, I guess. Commander? I'm there. Let's just shred this guy up. We've hit him enough. Going down. That hit something good. Sure as hell did, girl. Order. Confirmed. Uh, let's take the torso. Yeah, he's running an XL. You didn't even get to fight, girl. Unless there's like some people hidden up here. Yeah, see? I think we're going to swap out the weapons on that Timberwolf for long-range weapons. I think we're just going to do it. The Ultra 20 is nice, but we're getting into a lot of long-range engagements now, so... Might as well uh, just swap them out. Let's try for a head. Might as well. There we go. That was fun. Not. So I set the game settings, quit out, and came back in. So I was hoping that they would take effect. So I don't know if it's just that the pilots are better and we end up with the same max or what. But yeah, we didn't take any damage. Five up, five down. Um, you know, we took the torso at the Black Knight. The Jester, we took his head. The Pretty Baby, we took his head. I don't think there's really anything down here we want. Unless there's prototype double heat sinks. Let's look for those first. Um, does not appear to be. Spall liner. Minus 10% damage taken, eh? Let's grab that. Uh, and then let's grab... 
You want C bills or mech parts? Let's grab some pretty baby mech parts. I thought we had some, but I guess we don't. We do now though, there's four of them. The jester part. Okay. Alright, let's have a look here. Come on. Alright, if you hear some noise in the background, it's just the rain going on outside. I got the window open because uh, it's a little bit hot up here right now. Also, there's some kids out there playing in the rain, giving some screams. I think I can hear their parents out there with them. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I love it when kids play in the rain. It's awesome. All right, so, uh, yeah, I was just thinking now, we're going to take this other light contract first because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my, let's negotiate this. We want to go, uh, I think, one of five. We'll get, well, we're going to get our rep up with, with Russell Hag to liked anyway. So let's go one of five. We might pick up something good off this. We're going to take this one. We're going to give our two, um, uh, what do you want to call it, inexperienced mech warriors a shot to do a duel here on this. So we're going to send in um, Eagle and Giant. Might as well. And we got our second Lance ready to go for the next mission. Let's give them... We got to better, better make sure they're protected here. So we've got to re refit the zoo still. Now we have a de base defense mission coming up. Um, so what do we want for that? Probably, well, it's only a three skull mission, so it's not like we need big mechs. <laughs> Let's use this one and this one. Should we? At least they won't die. I mean, it's ridiculous, but let's do it. There were only three and a half, or two and a half skulls. Well, yeah, this might se seem like overkill with a couple of hundred ton max coming in a one and a half skull mission. But, you know, like a, all, it's, all it takes is a, uh, here we go. All it takes is a lucky shot from a, uh, um, a weapon to take the head off, right? Jesus, thing is so slow. Ah. Out. Wait. Okay, the BFG 9000's got an X on it. What do we got here? Trooper, Commando, meh. Standing by. Now, I thought we could change What's up, boss? the ammo on this to regular Gauss rifle. Do you need to have Railgun to start to be able to do it? Because I can't seem to change the ammo. Huh. Good to go. Alright, whatever. Moving out. We'll find out in a minute. What's this turret got? Light turret chassis. A couple of merms. That's we've got to go. You missed with one? I'm here. Just take it low and I'm slow. Fine. What do you got? Point defense. We don't care about that. Trooper. Commando. Powitzer. That's got to go. Laser sniper. Okay, so let's multi-target this. Shoot you. Let's shoot you because you're going to be shooting my missiles down. And you. C's getting the LRM. Right? Okay. B will take one of these and A will take two just in case we miss, right? If you stay so. Okay. Yeah, I think even if we miss with one, we wouldn't have taken the turret out anyway. Okay, so start on that guy. Yeah. That's why I want to kill that point defense. Uh, these guys are brave. I'll give them that. They are definitely brave. Position confirmed. So why can I not change the? I, it must. You must have to have the railgun ammo in here in order to be able to change it to start. I don't know. It said it uses normal Gauss ammo, so I'm not sure why. Eh, no big deal. It's not like we're struggling for uh, firepower here. I think that was a uh, power armor. Didn't have a lot of hit points. Hey. hey. 
Let's leave this off until we get rid of that tower. Let's just kill the commando though if we can. Oh, I got the tag on him. This really is overkill. The next mission should be good though. I mean, I could have given these guys the Vulture and the uh, Exterminator. But, you know, in a destroy base, you never really know what you're going to get turret-wise, so you have to be careful. Um, yeah, let's do this. The Ghost is going to be a threat, but let's kill this commando. If we can. See ya. Okay. Let's get rid of this guy. Now that they can see us. I got him. You did! Okay, he didn't hit us. Yeah, Commander. Let's kill this guy. We don't want to take any damage. Just fire. Alright, leg hit. What? No. Get back here. Uh, Urban Mech. R20. What does the R20 have? We have no idea. This guy's taking a bit of damage. Uh, let's just use this on him. This might hurt. Wow, three misses at that. Really? Yeah, I should have known too. Now we're going to take damage. What the hell? Unless he runs away. Oh, right through the spore clouds. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey. Hey. Um. Fire and maneuver, baby. Let's kill this turret. Nice. Now we can... Run amok with the LRM-20 as well. Just back up here. Advancing again. Waiting for orders. No running, just shooting. Coordinates received. Come on, Irby, stick your head out. Ah, I don't know what he shot there. Oh. You know, I think if I had one of these urban mechs early in the game, I kind of I wouldn't mind having it. All these rocket launchers on it. Small chem small chemical laser, really, eh? Let's fire the swarm. Take just do more damage if we can. Eh. Commander. He really doesn't feel like we're too overpowered. Well, maybe it does. Mech destroyed. Here it comes. Ah, we took damage. I was hoping the Kerberos would get out unscathed. That way we could just, like, fix, change it up right away. Because now I'm going to have to remember that we've got the, uh... Yeah, I know. Ooh, that's, that's hot. Uh, let's go with the LK. Better chance to hit. Now I'll have to remember that we got the real gun ammo. Yeah, chance of me doing that, I'm sure you guys know, is pretty slim, so... You can stay on fire all you want. I'm gonna heat this guy up. Micro lasers for the win. Heat yourself up, buddy. Reporting minimal damage. Ready for orders. Let's not get to a point where the turret can see us. Location confirmed. Ooh. We get the we get the leg? No? Damn it. Hey. I don't even think it was close. 
Really? Oh, that's not bad. Okay. I think we're still on fire, though. Are we still on fire? I don't know. Nope. Wow, we didn't even hit the leg we wanted to hit. It's got 29 left, eh? Let's go after the other one. And we'll fire it all. Well, you know, in our defense, we are dealing with novice pilots, so it's not like they're going to be incredibly accurate, are they? Have a seat. Alright, just back up. I don't want you to take any damage. Kerberos has already taken damage, so I don't mind that. Oh, we well, didn't get the leg. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's just torso him. <laughs> I thought we got the leg. Oh, yeah, I know. Just back up over here. We'll get the turret next turn. God. That's so ridiculous. Nicely done. It is Gan. She hasn't give us our, given us her, her maniacal laugh yet. we are waiting for that. You. Let's, move. Let's move. Hey. Hey. Going as fast as I can. What's up, boss? Stay on the road. Stay on the road. Come on. Can't see the buildings yet, eh? Waiting for orders. Going full throttle. So the new series, we got reinforcements. Nope. Thought for sure we did there for a second. So the new series, I want to try a whole bunch of different, uh... Ah, of course we got reinforcements. Enemy structure is weakening. Enemy structure is gone. Structure down. It's history. I want to try a whole different, uh, variety of loadouts. I think I might just forego like min maxing. Uh, let's leave the LRMs off for now. Engage. That should do it. So yeah, I think I just want to like you know if we have long range weapons, I'm just going to use like um, the range finder mods so I can see farther, things like that. Oh, a cheese mo, eh? It's a he cheese mo. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the jungle. Let's go with a little more damage on him. Wants to stand in the open, we'll take advantage of that. Maybe things are looking up. Yeah, maybe they are. Good to go. Moving to position. Hammer this guy, please. We gotta be careful, we only got five turns of ammo left. Commando Urban Mech. Hey. Can you engage these guys first? Okay, what else do we have? Raven, Commando, Urban Mech. Not the buildings. Raven. Well, Urban Mech it is. We got better, uh, yeah. Engaging. Oh, I blew something off the guy. Alright, let's see what they do here. Do we have any MS on there? Don't know if we do. That's ah, probably the AC-10 version. What's up, Raven? 
Don't come up here and hear all how you might like think you're going to take us down. I mean, if we run out of ammo, it's a different story, of course, but that it's going to be melee all the way. Okay, 60 on the side. Let's get more side damage on this guy if we can. We're ECM no matter where we go. Uh, let's LK this and fire. No, I did not either. I was hoping we were going to get initiative on that guy. I don't know why the BFG 9000 doesn't uh, see this. Because it did said heavy, it did say it does see heavy goss and uh, regular goss ammo. So maybe, like I said, it maybe it just needs to have railgun ammo installed to be able to switch. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of keeping it all goss though. That way you don't have to have more than one ammo type or whatever in there. Don't have to worry about heat. All that kind of crazy good stuff. Let's just move over here. And let's hopefully we can take this guy out. Oh, this guy's taking it like a champ. Hey. That's the Raven 24, eh? Let's leave the Lerms off of this guy. Um, actually, that's multi. I'm going to shoot you. And I'm going to shoot you. Wow, that bad, huh? Oh, wait. B, 10%. What about this guy? 12%, a little better. Let's do that. God, he's still going. Eh. Mind you guys, what are you doing? What if we just send out the battle master against those three and use our remaining ammo in the buildings for the Gauss rifles? Well, no, I guess not, because the PPCs can easily kill the buildings, so if you run out of ammo. Where are you going, buddy? He's bailing out. Now, let's move Giant first. How far can we get up? Like right here? Here we go. 24, huh? This guy on the ground, he's on the ground. So let's multi. Um, B's going to take the LRMs. Hopefully we can kill him. Let's just use the LK up on him. Okay. Alright, nice shot. Nope. Panic level critical. Oh my god. This guy. This guy. He had the devil's AC on him too, eh? Alright, let's get out in the open. I know we're in, we're on unstable ground, but given to give us a little bit of better chance to have. We got like... You know what? We're going to hold off. Here comes the walking bullet. He's just going to stay there. There's nothing we can hit him with that won't kill him. That guy took it like a champ, I gotta say. Okay, you're getting the PPCs. And the Urban Mech's gonna get the Lerms with the Swarm. Raven's probably coming back now, too. Nope, he's still hiding out over there somewhere. What now? 
still hiding out over here somewhere. Um, is there any way we can get both these guys? Probably not. Nope. One or the other, huh? Well, the Irby, Irby's really a non-threat. Okay, we got this guy up now, too. Let's get the swarm on. We got 19 on him, 22 on him. So let's fire this guy, this on this guy. Maybe we can take that leg. Nah, it's on the other side. Okay. Yeah, Commander. Eagle Eye. Moving out. 48. 19. 95. Let's use up the remaining ammo here. Alright, firing away. Affirmative. Yeah. That's a miss. That's okay, you were handicapped from the start. We're going to cram some more ammo on you and everything will be good. At least two more tons of regular Gauss and the, and the, the um, railgun ammo. Ah, we've both taken damage now. I don't like how this is going. Ah. I, wanna, I don't know why you're worried. Head's got stink tons of armor and like everything is good. Damage looks light, Commander. And yet you didn't like how it was going, huh? I'll try. Turn the alarms off for now. See ya. You're not going to hit that raven, so you might as well just, uh, let's finish up a building somewhere. Small's got how much? 100? Is there a medium here somewhere? 150. Perfect. Target destroyed. My gauss rifle is empty. Coming out of the shadows, are you? You got brass cojones, kid. Micropulse for the win. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, you didn't. Yeah, bad chances to hit. We're going to go with the swarm. Yeah, why not? Yeah, a little bit. That looks, like a critical hit. looks painful to me. It's okay, you got three R peeps. Now you're just being stupid, kid. Okay, for now. Yes, Commander. You say so. Alright, finish this guy up if we can. Copy. Thank you. I got him. You did. Receiving you. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it! If I was playing this as a solo game, I would stay here until that micro pulse killed that building, but we got another mission to do. Finish it up. Okay, contract payment, nice increase, because we're going to need that for repairs. Yeah, look at the kills. Alright, let's see what we got here. 
We probably could have gotten him with just the Atlas and been fine. Um, yeah, I don't want any of these guys unless we can finish a mech off. Nope. Uh, what do we got down here? So the Ghost was there. Ultra 10. Uh, compact heat sink. No, thank you. We don't have kits for it anyway. We got one item. What are we taking here, guys? Patchwork, maybe? Range finder? Oh, sensor tracker. Taking that. Bonus to hit. Thank you. This was nice, too. But I think um, the patchwork would have been my other choice. But I think we'll take this. All right, two ghost parts. Raven, urban mech part. All right. Oh. Hey, we got something we can sell. 86,000. Yeah, I knew it would be a, I knew it would be a lot. I knew it would be a lot. No big deal. Uh, let's have a look at the ghost quickly before we go into the next combat. So, what do we get here? Yeah, uh, see, you know, at a certain point, the mechs, if you're not choosing salvage, the mechs just start rolling in. So, um, it's got an engine. Yeah, someone someone told me that I should be stripping stuff less off this before I scrap them. Anything that I want to keep. But if you if you click on scrap, mech's component will be stored and its chassis removed permanently from your inventory. So you, you don't lose anything anyway. You don't need to take anything off it before you scrap it. So, um, and the sell price, and I've, I've double checked this. Even if I repair the whole thing and put it in my inventory, um, the sell price is exactly the same as the scrap value. So you're not losing anything by doing it this way. You just get it out of the bay faster this way. So there you go. All right, so that's the way. Now, let's have a look. Two days, the financial report. We've got one more Lance to go here. Um, let's take this Rasselhag contract. Yeah, so we're already liked by Rasselhag, so I don't think we'll be able to get the Five Skull today. But let's see what we can do here with this one for rep. Can we get it all the way up? Almost. But I think... I think we go one of seven, just in case, like I said, we picked up that sensor tracker. If we can get something else out of this, that would be nice. Plus, it'll give us a, um, we'll be really close to getting getting the uh, the next level, the, the friendly level, I think it's called, in the next episode. So that should be no problem. So let's accept this. And I think we're going to go a little bit more challenging on this one. Well, not really challenging, but uh, let's get our lands in here. Um, judge... Gocho Avalanche. So let's go with the Mjolnir. Um, I'm going to make this relatively, well, I don't know about challenging, but I think that's, well, Fort year large and LRM 20. I think we're going to go this route. Exterminator, um, Catapult, and Mad Dog. So let's roll with this. And see how it goes. I mean, it's, I mean, we're five skulls. There's nothing I can throw in here that's not going to make us five skulls. But capping it at seven, 70 tons, I think. These are all our lightest mechs. So let's just, just try this and see how it works. Alright, we got ten turns of fun. This map is actually, well, I don't want to say relatively easy to defend. But easier. Only because the enemy has to come uphill towards us. And this side, these guys that come from this side can't even see any of the buildings unless they got long-range missiles. You know, we don't really have to worry too much about them. We just have to worry about the guys on the left side. The, yeah, this side, left side. Uh, you know, and of course if they go first. Get some direct fire on this guy. What is up, Mr. Jenner? Do you like ATMs? Because I do. Losing a heatsink for that guy is very bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, you didn't.
Bye. Destroyed. God, it's just so devastating. Yep. Uh, let's get up here. See if we can spot Let's anything. What can I do for you? All right, Hannibal the Cannibal. Let's get up over here. Keep our eyes out. Come on, you guys, get up here. Ooh, we got all of them from the AMS. Nice. Meal near work it, worth its weight in gold. The three PPCs in the AMS, man, nice. What do we got over here? Black Knight. Okay, so I'm finding now, yeah, the three that the last mission, if you think about it, was one and a half skulls, right? Normally you're fighting mostly lights on a mission like that, and we did. We fought mostly lights and a couple mediums and stuff, but that was a little tougher. I think if we had our main lance from the very very beginning of this the show, it would have been a good battle. Um, let's get into here. What else do we got down here? Mortar technical, eh? The champion's already gone. Well, he went last turn. So let's deal some damage to this guy with some HE. Smoke him while we got him. Yeah, you got that right. Good to go. Le juge. Alright, let's get these guys shooting at us. We're going to multi-target this. You're going to receive a face full. And you two guys are going to each get a lerm. Um... No, dead fire is not going to work in this case. And it's fire. Do I have your attention now? Do I? Let's smoke this guy if we can. With some HE. Here we go. That one's gone. Destroyed with extreme prejudice. Good to go. So prejudice or prejudiced? I think prejudiced is the act of being prejudiced, is it not? Or am I mistaken? Sprinting. Could be mistaken. Oh, that's good. Well, that's good. Let's give this guy the what for. Now only one hit, eh? Hiding's not going to help you. I'd like to see a fight where um, it's not turrets guarding the base, but just like a group. Oh, <laughs> just a group of vehicles. That was 230 dead. Is this a railgun turret? It's a freaking railgun turret. Look at this thing. You're going to steal all our kills, buddy. Don't you be stealing our kills? Just stay up here. Reinforcements will be coming from this direction anyway. Let's drop some on this guy. Uh, just gonna go with the regular ammo. Better chance to hit. Nicely done. And stay down. Oh, he ain't going anywhere. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, let's reserve you. Orders? Just back up. I don't know where the enemy is coming from next time. So, let's rain some death down on this guy. Ooh, he lost his whole side. Let's see if we can get the kill on this. Probably not, but we'll do some good damage. Here it comes. Oh, I was wrong. I hope we can sell this bad. 
That's one of the rare times where we've able been able to take out the first wave before the second wave showed up. I hear ya. Going turbo. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts in Because of course we do. Oh, that looks like we got some good fighters here. Exterminator, Ghost, Raptor 2, and Irby, looks like. Yeah, you know who to shoot at, don't you? Irby. Um. Receiving you. These guys are protected. But you're not. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, he's lost evasive too. There's more guys down here. Heading out. More guys down here. What do we got? Raptor two? Commando? Yeah, you know, I don't know. Maybe. Yes, Maybe the increase is giving us something. It's hard to tell. I haven't been at this level for a while now. Um, let's execute this guy. Yeah. Welcome to the fight, buddy. Roger. So this guy's move. Let's fire on him. A little bit of damage. I don't know, this is about a three skull mission, I guess. Waiting for orders. Let's welcome these guys don't need to, tell me twice. to the fight. Crab, eh? Alright. Yeah, let's hammer this guy. Roger that. Firing on target. Goes his arm. Probably the torso, too. Oh, he'll take it, but he ain't gonna like it. Stingray? Okay. Yeah, this is an okay three skull. Alright. <laughs> Thanks for showing up. Turrets are all yours, guys. Feel free to shoot them turrets all you want. Wait, which one of these guys has the arrow? One of these two vehicles has got an arrow. Oh, if we go before them next turn, they're in a lot of trouble. Okay. A little bit of damage. I'm not going to get close to them like I did in the last match. I'm going to back up so that we don't get the ECM on us. We were hurting for chances to hit last time because I, I ECM bagged myself. Defend the industrial lab. Oh! <laughs> Why was he able to kill the urban mech that fast and I couldn't last match? I mean, I know you're... Oh! That's a turret. Oh, man. When the turrets are on your side, it's fun. When they're not on your side, it's not so fun. There's a reason why I shoot them damn turrets first. And here I am moving forward when I said I wasn't going to. Well, anyway, let's hammer him. Yep. This guy is toast. Tell me what to do. Did you see that? Did you see it? I think pound for pound, I gotta say, the Mjolnir, I think, is probably one of our more exceptional mechs. I know it's only got three ER PPCs. They're doing 80 each. It's only 240 damage. But it has great chances to hit. The uh, advanced AMS is pr giving everybody protection here.
I mean, the exterminator now with the ATM loadout, I'm really, I gotta say, I'm really liking it. Especially when you get, you know, into a half decent ranged fight. Like medium range fight, the thing is totally deadly. If you gotta get close to somebody, it's a different story. But the medium range fight, man, you got that shiz going on. Stingray. Oh, dead fire's too far, right? Yeah. Well, let's welcome him to the fight. What? He wants to go home? Alright. Doesn't want to play with the big boys. Send him home. Send him to the cemetery. I'll do what I can. He'll do what I tell you. H.E. please. Confirm. Well, thank you very much. Six rounds. He'll be gone before that. Two more rounds. Let's see if we can get him in two. We got a raptor, a commando, a crab, and a ghost left. Oh, uh, we got lucky though. I thought they were going to take that building out. Oh, this guy might still do it though. No, he's going to melee. You dumbass. Roll 23, huh? Was it worth it? Man, we still got the railgun to go. This guy could be toast. This building is damn close to being destroyed, though. It's got like about 25 left or something. One, two, little under 20, a little over maybe 30 points left. Come on. You don't need to shoot that guy. You know what's going to be scary though, now that I think about it? If you're doing a defend base mission, and you got these vehicles and turrets roaming around, shooting away, like that, there's a chance they could shoot you in the back. You know what I mean? You're going to really have to figure out what the hell you're doing. Have a seat, bud. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. That's going to be... I, I think I, I might shy away from defense missions all because of that, though. Like, I couldn't imagine... having to do a, def a defend base mission when you know... you know damn well the vehicles and the turrets are going to shoot you in the back. I mean, you'd have to stand in the middle of the base, like, away from the turrets. Like, behind them. So it's probably just going to mean that you're going to have to take, you know, a bunch of different mechs. Gotcha. Well, we might do this in one turn. Um, it means you, like, you'd have to take, like, indirect fire mechs and just stand in here and shoot. Because as soon as you get in front of these turrets, like, could you imagine, like, an LRM, you know, or MRM-60 uh, turret firing away and half of the missiles shooting you in the back? It'd be crazy. I mean, it's already bad enough now with Arrow. You can't get close to them, right? I mean, this map, I think, probably for base defense, is probably, for me, is the easiest base defense mission. With the exception of them moving first on the... Like, if they, can not, if they knock out a building on the first turn, it's a different story. Uh, and there is a good chance they can do that. Where the hell did that guy go? Where did he run to? Oh, he's down there. Oh. Chicken. Chicken. I don't blame you, though. I think I'd be uh, running away, too. But, you know, we don't shoot other uh, my lance mates in the back and get away with it. So, here you go. You're going to move in to shoot somebody. Do it right. The juge. Can we get down close enough for dead fire? We haven't had a chance to use dead fire yet. Animal. 
I know we're running the risk. Running the risk. Let's see if we can wrap this up. Jade Falcon Freeborn style. Got it. <laughs> well, we got his torso. Ah, oh, well. Mission successful. Alright, so next episode I'm going to crank up the difficulty to maximum. Just to see what happens. I think we really need to go and face the clans or Comstar or something. Because we're not, we're not going to get a challenge here. We just won't. Problem though is we'll be relying on um, missions from uh, local planetary governments, which will be a problem. Um, okay, let's look for Artemis 2, eh? Plus 2 accuracy with missile weapons. Hmm. Masks, we got lots of patchworks. Range finder, powered sensor, sensors tracker, void. Um, let's just grab another one of these. I love the extra bonuses to hit. Let's confirm that. All right, commando parts, uh, ghost part, one raptor part. Figures we didn't quite get enough. Ah, no big deal. Okay. Yeah, barely any damage. Nice. All right, we're going to repair our max. I want to have a look at the Kerberos before we leave this episode and I'm going to leave it up to you guys what do you think do we stay here in St. Ives Compact um, the challenge doesn't seem to be here do we hit Comstar do we hit Ghost Bear do we hit Wolf do we go someplace um, drop it in the comment section down below what do you think uh, I mean we're not going to have that many more episodes probably maybe five at the most I don't know it really depends on how quickly Rogue Tech gets out um, with the new update um, but yeah um, I'm interested uh to hear what you have to say. I have no problem doing just about anything at this point. Let's bring the Atlas up. Ah, King Crab can come up. Uh, getting those done first. Okay, so let's get the Kerberos back. Here's our financial report, which we more than covered today. We got stuff we can sell. I'll worry about that later. I'm interested. That Kerberos, though, I mean... I don't think there's any more contracts real quick. I don't think we can do... Yeah, so um, the Kerberos, I'm wondering, okay, there we go, um, Mercenary Review Board, screw you, I'm not going to go there, lose three rep with Federated Sons, I, I, I'm not going to have to explain myself. All right, MacBase. Let's have a look at the Kerberos. Now, I know we can get... Where are you here? This was a really, really quick refit. As you can tell, there's like nothing... <laughs> no cockpit mods, no nothing in this guy. Um, I don't even think I have a... Uh, yeah, I don't even have... Like, like. look at This is like... Let's get it ready for fighting just in case. Is all this was. Um, so it really has nothing on it. So let's go and do some stuff here. Uh, we could put the harmor, hardened armor on it. Um, it's just going to reduce the speed even more. But I don't know if we need to do that. Spawliner is a possibility. Let's just start with Clan Endosteel, though. Because we need more weight on this guy for sure. Let's start with an XL Gyro, which I think we do have down here. Yes. I think I sold all the Ultralight Gyros, because, I mean, really? Oh, I can't put an XL. <gasps> oh! Evasion and defense. This is evasion, defense, and movement. Yeah, so we're going to put this one on it. Give it a little bit more, um, I don't know, evasion. <laughs> Not much, but a little bit. All right, let's have a look at the weapons here. Now, I'm concerned because this BFG says it uses Goss, heavy Goss, and railgun ammo, yet we weren't allowed to switch it to Goss last time, and I'm wondering if it's because we needed to have the heavy goss ammo in there. Let's see if we can find it here. Or the railgun. Right? Yeah. 
ammo railgun. I wonder if I've passed it already. Rack. Light goss. Heavy goss ammo. Which I don't want to use because we do have a heavy goss rifle that I want to put in a mech. Um, ammo goss double. Let's put these in instead. Um, because these are what? 18 rounds each? That's not really double. Plus 20%. But that's... Yeah, that's plenty. That's 36 rounds for three would be 12 turns. Okay, as if we use it on all of them. And now where's the railgun ammo here? Uh, sniper, railgun, here we go. Oh, we got two railgun ammo. Well, that's interesting. Does this explode? Doesn't explode. Okay, put one on each side. Um, so we got three tons for other stuff here. So we got the fire control system Goss on here, right? And then let's go to equipment. Um, let's put in, um, we can put the TTS ballistic in here, right? Yeah, sure as hell can. That's going to give us more, more chances to hit. This guy could end, end up being a pretty devastating mech here. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, cockpit wise we don't really have much I've been trying really hard to find something good for it uh, we're gonna definitely put this in give us another bonus chance to hit uh, we do have the watchdog suite in here is this gonna be enough one defense against being hit reduce 50% reduced signature yeah so this is enough uh, com suite plus one of these is broken I think which one not that one no why are they What's the difference? Oh, there it is. That's weird. Let's repair this one. Um, we need something in there. I don't know what else to put. I'm not going to put the DNI cockpit on. There's no real point. Um, plus two initiative when act activated. Plus two maximum evasion when activated. Ah. Okay, so we don't need any cooling. We'll just put a double heatsink, regular double heatsink kit in this. So let's go to, uh, oops, we want to go to here. We got an inner sphere double heatsink kit. Where is it here? Oh, do we use it? No, here it is here. Looking at the wrong thing. All right, so we got, yeah, we're good. So let's see what we can else we can drop in here. Now, armor, we could go with, I'm thinking, you know what we do? Um, we have heavy pharaoh. One additional free slots. I guess not, eh? Uh, regular ferrofibrous is going to give us how much weight? 2.19 tons. Let's put the lamb armor on that I can't use. <laughs> uh, the spa liner is nice too. But I think I want to save this for a, a more brawling mech. Something that's going to get in closer. This guy's just going to stand back and shoot. I mean, I could put stealth armor on, but we really need... I don't know if we're going to need more firepower than the two Gauss rifles and the BFG. Are we really? This hitting for 200. These guys hitting for 75 each with really, really good accuracy. Are we going to need that? Um... Definitely don't need any heat sinking. I mean, we could put a mask on it to get it into battle faster, but then we're going to have to, like, find some weight. But do we really need to do that? I mean, we can just have it set up at a distance. Um, Angel ECM gives us plus one defense, but the visibility and signatures, you can spot this guy a lot easier than you can when you've got the watchdog suite on here because the minus 50 reduced signature means you could just stand back at a massive distance and shoot and not have to worry about being seen. Which we've done multiple times and repeated over and over again. You can drop a UAV in, give it a bit better sensors and sight range. 5%, not much, but... Um, I don't want to lose any accuracy, which is why I don't want to use this. I know we only lose accuracy when we turn it on, but... Um, Sorry, that's looking at the wrong thing. Here we go. Plus 9 heat when activated. I mean, the heat won't matter. 1.15, sorry, 1.5 tons. Medium combat shield. Like, I think, you know, we could put... 
Yeah. You know, I'm kind of looking forward to the new series. I really am. Because we're going to have so many different variety of mechs. We're going to have melee mechs and stuff. And having things like a blue, uh, the blue field shield dampener, large combat shield, uh, the spa liner, things like that on a mech, uh, reducing massive amounts of damage, uh, it's going to be kind of cool. Uh, but we're kind of limited with this series, so maybe we, I don't know. What do we got for engine 260? I mean, we could put something bigger in. Get a little bit more speed, but I don't know if we really need it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do we have any, uh, we do have support hard points. Oh, you know what we do? Yeah, I don't even know why I didn't think of this. Um, pull out the micro pulse, and let's put an advanced AMS in this guy. Because, yeah, we're going to need ammo in case, too. So let's get AMS ammo. Right, 200 shots. Have we really ever gone over 200? I don't think we have. So let's drop that in there. Let's go to equipment. We have clan armor. Now, do we have clan case? That's the question. I think we're all out of clan case. We are. Can we use regular case, too? We can. So let's just repair that. Uh, we're out of case. I can't believe we're out of case. The weird thing is, is that I was looking at the case in uh, one of the missions we just played, thinking I should pick that up. We're out of case. I can't believe we're out of case. But I guess it's something we could always buy in the store. Like we're never going to find clan case, obviously, in the store. But like this was a pretty good store. It had some pretty good ammo and stuff in it. I still go into the stores looking. Yeah, he doesn't have any. I still go into the stores looking for. Um, uh, ammo and hoping to find a weapon mount, but didn't find anything in this one. All right, did have a few interesting ammo. Like I said, we managed to pick up the rail ammo, railgun ammo in this one. So now we've got, um, yeah. So we're going to definitely have to leave in the um, the uh, endo steel for this. So we do have enough patchwork that we can just spread this around. Let's put 0.25 tons in each, like this, and we're out of space. We are out of space. Let's put this up here. Um, and drop a little back armor. Because I don't think we're going to be getting shot in the back here. He says before he gets shot in the back. A little bit off the front. Eh, maybe not. A little bit off, more at the back. I think we go like this. 1.7 million. That's not too bad, I guess. That's a major refit. I wish we had some uh, um, weapon mounts for the arms. But I think with the plus three Gauss fire control system, the plus two ballistic uh, accuracy, and the plus one sensors, it's plus six right there. Plus being on the arms is plus seven. So, I mean, it's going to be pretty good overall. I think we got minus one recoil on the arms. So these things don't have recoil at all, do they? No. The BFG 9000 does, though. It's got a recoil of two, right? Right. Which will be mitigated by the ballistic TTS. So not to worry about that. So I think we're good here. I like the fact that it's got the advanced AMS in it now. I've been looking for reasons to drop this in other mechs, and this is the perfect one to drop it into. Because this guy's just going to be standing back, right? Perfect. Confirm this. I'm looking forward to running this next next episode. Alright, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Tomorrow night, I can't guarantee that I can record an episode because it's my um, right. kid's graduation tomorrow, so we'll be out fairly late tomorrow. Um... But if I don't, I damn will be recording on Saturday. Now, tomorrow night, most likely, to give you guys a chance to respond to this one on what you think we should be, um, where you think we should be going. I mean, we could stay here, but I want to give you guys some good fights. And even by cranking up the difficulty, it's not really that, hasn't been that difficult here. So I think, I'm thinking we go to go after Comstar or Ghost Bear or Wolf or somebody just to get some good com uh, competition in play. And we're really close to Comstar, so, I mean, that's a possibility. But I'll give it a day. So tomorrow night, if I do record, it will be Night Witches. Um, and then I'll record, that's that's Friday night. Then Saturday night, I'll record another episode of Falcon Free One once we decide where we're going to go. And wherever we jump, that should give the, more than enough time to get the Kerberos back in action. Um, we got enough many, enough days to uh, for the financial report. So what we might do, actually, let's have a look at the mech base real quick. The... Um, Jorman Gundir, how much was did was it going to cost us to get this sucker repaired here? Because I wanted to try to do a double arrow system on this guy. Uh, let's just see here. I can't remember how much it would cost us to throw up a repair. 652000 
So let's just do that. We'll strip all the gear off them. Um, oops, let's not do that. Let's leave some stuff on there. Come on. Ah, oh, his whole CT was knocked out anyway. But let's leave... He's got a Beagle Probe, eh? That's kind of interesting. That's kind of good to know, though. Just means we have to stand back farther from them so they don't see us. But that's actually a smart idea. I never actually thought about putting that on a missile mech or something or a long-range mech to give them more sensor checks. But, I mean, we, move, we generally move in closer anyway with our main mechs. So let's just pull that up. We'll leave the composite armor in for now. I don't know if we're going to leave it in. I don't like the fact that the structure has been reduced. I know the weight change is nice to get extra weight in this guy, but I hate the fact that the structure... Because if we get into a heavy brawl and this guy starts taking damage, the last thing I want is to... Uh, have him go down because he doesn't have enough structure to to be able to uh, fend off damage. Uh, we'll, uh, let's leave it for now. We'll confirm this. It's easy to pull out if we have to. So that guy will be ready to go. That's what, 10 days? Not bad. So once again, depending on what you guys decide, where you want to go, I'm thinking, I think it's going to be Comstar. Most people will probably say Comstar, but I could be wrong. Um, depending on where you want to go, we'll get these guys up and running see them in action um, and we're going to get the Zeus X repaired too because I'm, I'm thinking the sniper and, and arrow on this system I mean it was really just a joke Mac to get it up and running so we'll replace these two and get this guy fixed up properly um, I'm not minding the awesome layout with the four uh, ER larges and the LRM 20 so it's I mean it's kind of okay it's kind of interesting how it's got it in the arm here but yeah we'll see how it goes and um, yeah, we'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, drop any comments and suggestions in the comment section down below. Let me, let me know where you want me to go. Let me know where, let me, who you want me to fight, and we'll go and take them on. Um, the problem is going to be getting those high skull missions if we're not um, taking missions for um, local government or pirates or things like that. We're not going to have a hard time finding high-end missions. Um, but yeah. All right, so until next time, we'll just see everybody later.